Everyone's familiar with different blood types, whether they are A positive or B positive or O positive, and how important these blood types are in making sure they get the right type of blood. We actually determine your blood type by looking at the types of carbohydrates on the surface of your red blood cells. Scientists sometimes refer to these carbohydrates as antigens because antigens are anything the immune system responds to, as opposed to antibodies, which are proteins in the blood the immune system uses to specifically recognize these antigens. To make sure people get the right kind of blood, we take plasma from a patient and mix it with a few of the cells from the red cells that we're going to give during the transfusion. If there's a reaction between the patient's plasma and the donor red cells, the blood clumps. Antibodies in the plasma are responsible for the clumping. The immune system can recognize and remember many different types of invaders, but needs to avoid attacking our own cells. As a result, our body spends a significant amount of time trying to tailor the immune system so it doesn't recognize us, but specifically engages microbes. However, some microbes evolve the ability to decorate themselves in a molecular covering that looks just like the molecules that cover our own cells, kind of like wolves in sheep's clothing. These microbes can fly under the radar of our immune system and therefore put us at an increased risk for infection. And when you look at these microbes under an electron microscope, it actually looks like wool. Our body cells might be compared to a flock of sheep. The immune system mounts a response when the flock encounters an outside threat. However, bacteria could exploit blind spots by disguising themselves to look more like our own cells. Carbohydrates that cover red blood cells can make a perfect disguise for certain types of pathogens. But fortunately, our bodies employ a backup system when a typical immune response is inadequate. In groundbreaking research, Dr. Stowell and his colleagues have discovered that proteins called galactins fill in the gaps where the rest of the immune system leaves off. These results strongly suggest that galactins provide a unique form of innate immunity against microbes that encapsulate themselves in molecules that look just like us. What that means is that these galactins go after the pathogens that get through the first line of defense. Like sheepdogs, galactins are experts at sniffing out and destroying these stealthy invaders. To begin to explore how these galactins may kill these blood group positive microbes, we first simply perform video microscopy to see what happens when the galactins attach to the microbes. While the no-treated bacteria look like neural bacteria that have been seen before, galactin-treated bacteria look like the membranes that have been literally ripped off the surface of these microbes. So typically when patients are affected with microbes that can be treated by antibiotics, the antibiotics we use not only target the microbe that's causing the disease, but also eliminate many of the microbial flora that are in our gut that are actually important in our overall health. But what if scientists could engineer galactins to form the basis of a more targeted type of antibiotic? In our lab, we are currently engineering galactins to develop a novel form of antibiotic which instead of eliminating all sorts of microbes, specifically targets only those bacteria that cause infectious disease, and therefore develop an entirely new class of antibiotics. 